Hello. This short video is intended to show the effects of replacing less than four tires on a vehicle, as well as mixing tires with different performance or speed ratings on a vehicle. It doesn't matter whether the vehicle is front-wheel drive, rear-wheel drive, all-wheel drive, or four-wheel drive. The same advice applies. To begin with, when tires need to be replaced, don't guess what tire is right for your vehicle. You must consult the tire placard, which is normally located on the vehicle door edge, door post, glove box, or the fuel door. The placard tells you the size of the tires, including the spare, that were mounted on your vehicle as original equipment. It also includes your recommended cold inflation pressures for the front or rear axles and your spare tire, as well as the load capacity. If your vehicle does not have a placard, check the owner's manual or consult with the vehicle manufacturer or tire manufacturer. Typically, tires with the most tread depth have the most traction, which is also referred to as the highest grip level. This is important for you, the consumer and driver, to remember. If tires with more grip are mixed with tires with less grip, the tires with less grip should be on the front. That is why it is preferred that all four tires be replaced at the same time for continued best vehicle performance. In some cases, the vehicle manufacturer may even advise you against replacing less than all four tires. Always check and follow the recommendations in your vehicle owner's manual. For four-wheel drive and all-wheel drive vehicles, even small differences in your tire diameters may cause drivetrain damage or mechanical malfunction. In those cases where you are not willing to replace all four tires at the same time, here are some general guidelines to consider when replacing less than four tires for a vehicle, whether it is one or two tires. In this video, we are showing vehicles on a wet roadway on our Cooper Test Track facility. The vehicle reactions you are watching will be the same for your vehicle, whether front or rear wheel drive, and can occur even more quickly under slippery conditions, such as winter weather. The only difference will be the vehicle's speed when these reactions will occur. When all four tires on your vehicle are the same, with the same tread depth, the front tires are going to grip the same as the rear tires. That means the front and rear tires track together and your vehicle is balanced and stable. When you choose to replace less than four tires, you may unbalance your vehicle. In this case, we installed two new tires on the rear and two worn tires of the same size and type on the front. The new rear tires have a lot of grip and the worn front tires have less grip. This creates understeer, or in other words, the front tires cannot do as much work as the back tires. If you turn the steering wheel, your vehicle will be slow to respond and it will tend to go straight. This understeer condition is reasonably safe because it gives warning signs to you, the driver, causing you to slow down until you feel your car is stable. You have probably already encountered this during a heavy rain when you felt some hydroplaning or if you have driven on icy or snow-covered roads. You naturally slowed down until you felt normal or reasonably stable driving your vehicle. In the next part of the demonstration, we had the two new tires installed up front and moved the worn tires to the back. What we have here is a lot of grip on the front and less grip in the rear. When you make an abrupt turn, the front end turns very quickly, but the rear tires can't hold because they don't have the grip level. This is called oversteer. It's an unstable condition in your vehicle and especially during a sudden turn of your steering wheel can get you in trouble very quickly. When the back of your vehicle loses grip, it will tend to spin around. Once the rear of your vehicle begins to spin, it may be difficult to retain control of the vehicle. Can you imagine if you are driving at speed in traffic and need to make an abrupt lane change or other maneuver? This unbalanced vehicle condition is something you should avoid. If you have any questions about what you have just seen, ask your tire dealer, vehicle manufacturer, or tire manufacturer.